Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Monday. I just noticed a bird up here on the on the feeder there. It's probably gonna pop down and get something to eat. So there, there it goes. <laughs> Uh, oh, they're chasing each other away. Anyway, welcome to Monday. It's a fun day Monday uh, Devo today, and I'm wearing a shirt. Uh, my fun day, fun, fun day Monday shirt, the Sermonator. Uh, I'm reminded of this t-shirt yesterday. Uh, First English had a celebration of my 25th anniversary of cel uh, ordination, which is actually last year, so it was actually the, this year it's 25 plus one. Um, and then 10 years at First English plus one more year. <laughs> so 11 total at First English coming up this fall. We had a celebration yesterday and they had a celebration for me and flowers and uh, a choir sang and, and just, a, just a wonderful day reception afterwards. Uh, it was a little bit of a surprise. I didn't know exactly what was going on, um, but knew something was up when, when uh, I heard that Caleb and Taylor were coming to town along with my mom and dad and sister. So um, good to see everybody and uh, enjoy the day. It was a fun day. So thanks for everybody who was a part of that. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, weather outside, about 64 degrees here on the back deck. A little early when I'm recording this, but uh, got some things to do today and need to get, get an early start. So sun is just coming up over the, over the trees back here and uh, gonna warm up today. Um, so check-in time, how are you all doing? Hope and pray that you had a good weekend. Uh, and stayed fairly cool. Saturday was quite warm, but yesterday was, at least the humidity was dropped, had dropped. But anyway, uh, what else? Oh, check-in time. I think I did that already. <laughs> it's been a long weekend. Uh, well, if you have a question or a comment, leave it below and I'll get to it. And uh, I do have my coffee here. Maybe I need some of this to help me wake up. So cheers, church. Hey, let's get to a Devo, okay? So our devotion today comes from The Word in Season, and it's written by Elizabeth Jaeger. Um, so yeah, we've heard from her last week too. So this is, uh, today is, well actually yesterday, July 25th, is James the Apostle, his feast day. But when a feast day for an apostle uh, falls on a Sunday, you can either celebrate it on that Sunday in worship or it's transferred to the next Monday. So that's why we're doing it today. James the Apostle transferred from yesterday to today. And the scripture reading is Mark 10, 35 to 45. I see I'm getting a little sunshine glow on my head here. So my halo's coming out today. So uh, Mark 10, 35 to 45. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to Jesus and said to him, teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask for you, we ask of you. And Jesus said to them, what is it that you want me to do for you? And they said, grant us to sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your glory. But Jesus said, you do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? And they replied, we are able. And then Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they began to be angry with James and John. So Jesus called them and said to them, You know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognize as their rulers lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them but it is not so among you. Whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. <clears throat> in a little sip of coffee, I got a little froggy in my throat here. Cheers, church. Okay, so James Apostle, that's the title of our uh, Devo, appropriately enough, and the theme verse is verse 45, where Jesus says, For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve. Who did James and John think they were? By trade, they, they were among the lowliest, smelly, slimy fishermen. Yet they dared to ask for favored places with Jesus. 
They wanted to be his right and left hand men. What does it mean to get close to Jesus? Jesus reminded James and John that following him is not about glory and prestige. Those who read to the end of the gospel story learn that true discipleship includes sacrifice and even pain at times. Consider that when Jesus was crucified, no one was closer to him than the two criminals who died on either side of him. The real power of Jesus is revealed in love and service, his willingness to place the needs of others before his own and to give his life as a ransom for many. Thus, the greatest disciple is the humblest servant. What are good words to remember as we start out this week, right? The humblest, the greatest disciple is the humblest servant. Um, I mentioned in my sermon yesterday that, that we are called uh, by Jesus not, um, well, how did I put it? We are called to follow Jesus. And sometimes we tend to make Jesus into what we want Jesus to be. But Jesus wants us and calls us to form ourselves into what he is, to be, uh, his, as Martin Luther said, little Christs to our neighbors in this world, to go out and serve and help and feed and uh, do the things that Jesus does did in this world because we are um, his hands and feet and his heart. So this week, find some way to serve others. That's your homework assignment for the week, okay? Uh, be of strong heart and courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your masks, and keep distance as appropriate. Uh, get those vaccines if you haven't. Uh, please do that. Um, these are ways we do show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Let's pray. Suffering servant, as you gave yourself on the cross, help us to give of ourselves in humble love and service. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.